Hi guys, I'm Nikki Fogden Moore. And I'm Jane Anderson. And we want to announce a little mini top tip series called Angels with Attitude. <laughs> yeah, I think we've been doing a lot of work with some amazing people and we often find that, you know, they don't always need, the, you need sort of the tough love, I suppose. I guess so, because we're always <laughs> what? You're, so, you're, you're compassionate, but what's your, what's your... I reckon I'm a compassionate butt kicker. Yeah, and, I, <laughs> I, and I'm definitely a no-nonsense coach. So both Jane and I are all about getting shit done. So hashtag GSD. We're very, very uh, passionate about working for our clients to make sure that we just cut straight through and declutter everything. So we thought, why not be angels with attitude together and give you some top tips just two or three minutes um, every now and then on things that we know that you're encountering and we'd love you to ask us questions. So eventually we'd hopefully that you can do video questions with us and we can film that with you. But if you just wanna, you know, put some comments on Facebook at N Fogdemore the Vitality Coach or on the Jane Anderson um, or email Nikki at the vitalitycoach.com.au your questions, we'd love to answer them. Yeah, I guess we see heaps of different things that others can learn from and we do try to share those in our blogs and things like that. But if you want to just write the message or you want to do it via a video, whatever's easiest for you, and uh, you'll get uh, our both our heads together onto your challenge and what we can do to help you. So the first one is let's just take one that we already got given from Sally who said, how do you guys stay so resilient when you've got changes of staff and your businesses are growing and then you've got to balance everything else in your life so let's talk about resilience in business and in life. Yeah, so I think some of the things that I know I find, uh, it's really easy to think too far ahead sometimes when things aren't necessarily going right. So, you know, knowing the impact of what that decision makes and, you know, how hard that's gonna be if X, Y, Z is happening. And I think what I've found I've had to do is just really stay in the moment and go, right, what is the first, best next step that will move this goal to where it needs to be. So I just stay really focused on what do I need to do right now that will make this work. And then I just try not to worry too much about overwhelm and stress and those types of things. And uh, and I probably, I mean, Nikki's the vitality coach, so she I probably take advice for her a little bit on self-care, but in terms of mindset, I just have to focus on what do I need to do right now. And I think that's perfect. I always have a mantra, think like a CEO, plan like a visionary, act like a Buddha. So what happens in life, we try and make decisions because we want everything lined up, but that's actually trying to manipulate an outcome. And really all you've got to do is put one foot in the other. My first advice if you're going through a tough situation, whether it's anything to do with commercial or personal, is pause. So press pause and think like a CEO. What are the facts and stats around what you're dealing with now? So divorce the story and stick to really the essentials. The second thing, plan like a visionary. How big a deal is this really? Um, you know, for example, we were at the conference and the books didn't turn up, but you know what, it's a first world problem, we'll deal with it. So I think you've really got to have perspective on what you're going through and you've probably gone through so much worse before and we have a mental muscle. So experience helps us become better at things. So think like a CEO, plan like a visionary. And the last thing is act like a Buddha. Just what Jane says, being a Buddha means being present. It means not worrying about what's happened before or after, but just being in the moment and trusting ourselves. We're so busy worrying about what might happen or hasn't occurred that you create a really strange kind of chemical reaction of fight or flight or anxiety. But if you just calm and you stay centered and you trust your gut rather than your head, your ego is not your amigo, um, <laughs> you're gonna have so much more ability to tap into the right decisions. And what I always say, the first answer to a question you really ask yourself is the right one. The rest is just society's kind of shoulds, coulds, woulds. So just stay centered, take a break, don't worry about three steps ahead, just pause and make sure that you ask questions. So replace fear with curiosity. Yeah, and I think that's so valuable, your advice. And um, the other thing I always really think about, I think about some of, you know, if you wanted to refer to someone, I think someone that's great in this space is Carol Dweck. Yeah. And she's written the book called Mindset. And she really talks about having a growth mindset. And so if you're in a situation where you're being resilient because you're trying to be resilient because you're going backwards or things are uh, not happening the way that you want them to or things are going bad. Um, I think of her work a lot and I think her work is really groundbreaking. You can have a look at her TED talk and she talks about, you know, just really focusing on 
not everything's going to be perfect and having um, a fixed mindset is you know that it's black and white and life just isn't like that so just focusing on what can I do to progress the situation and I think combining that with uh, with what Nikki's saying I think those three things will really make a big difference for you yeah, so if you want to be resilient, press pause, uh, be realistic, get the facts and stats. And I always like to say we grow through life, not go through life. So think about it as an evolution. All that does is create another moment for you to earn your stripes as a great human, as a great leader in business and life. And it's how you deal with situations that really reflect your core values. You know, Jane and I would love to help. So if you've got other questions, please reach out. On what's your, what's the best way to get in contact with you, Jane? Uh, I th well, my email is jane at jane-anderson.com.au or you can pop it on the, my Facebook page or LinkedIn page. We can grab it anywhere. YouTube, if you want to pop the, the question there under a, a video you've seen or even under this video, perhaps. Yeah, exactly. So that's fine. So leave us a comment below or you can hop on to uh, the vitalitycoach.com.au because I'll actually post this as a blog so you can keep an eye out for it as well. And if all else fails, just hit us up on email. That will come across after this frame. Um, Jane at the Jane underscore Anderson.com and Nikki, N-I-K-K-I at the vitalitycoach.com.au. So we wish you a healthy, wealthy, wise uh, time ahead and we hope this advice had helped from Angels with Attitude. <laughs>